Hello guys, welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. The tears Murrah and Riva shared in the semi-finals of Roland Garros could be a turning point in the career of the rising star. Provided that she turns her disappointment into strength and not into regret, success will come. The 17-year-old Russian was defeated in straight sets by Jasmine Paulini, and at the end of the second set, the Russian lost and her emotions burst into tears. This is normal, she is still just a little girl. The 17-year-old Russian tennis player left Paris after an unforgettable adventure, without any regrets, but full of emotions and feelings that she carries with her. Appreciate it and grow as a tennis player. I made many mistakes, that was the most difficult thing to accept. I know I could have done better, but I take many positive aspects. I would say it is a good result despite the defeat the Russian analyzed with a cool head, so I can bring take home many positive things from this tournament. Of course I'm a little disappointed with the result of this last match, but that's how it is. Now we have to move forward. Honestly, I could have played better, I made a lot of mistakes, mistakes that I don't normally make. It was a little hard for me to accept, I tried to manage it and fight it, but I guess today wasn't the right day. Obviously she played very well too, she played great tennis, she said at the press conference. After defeat it is always difficult to go back to thinking positively, perhaps this is not the case for everyone, but in my case, I always find the negative thoughts first. Let's say that I still have to deal with this aspect, maybe in a few days I will be able to talk about it with my team. Little by little I will assimilate that I did a good job here, but I know I could have done better. Overall it was a good tournament, I will just need a couple of days for the negative thoughts to fade away, and I can put everything into perspective. If they had asked me at the start of the tournament if I saw myself reaching the semi-final I would have said no. Now we'll have to go home, but I won't talk much, I'll be too down in the dumps. Luckily everything is easier when you have your team and your family next to you, they make you feel better she said. There will be a lot of work for Andriva to do now. You will have to unplug to prepare for the change on the field, on the field that can bring you great satisfaction. As far as I know, I think a young, inexperienced Russian tennis player can adapt well to any surface over time. Including grass, which as we have seen in recent years, almost tends to become mud or grassy swamps and dry soil. It is true that she is sad today, but she should also be proud of what she has accomplished in two weeks in Paris. To turn these tears into victory. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.